Good morning. So I am on my way to get myself a quick breakfast. Oop, I kicked a cup. Clean up New York. I'm gonna be going to this really cool bodega. They do the classic New York bacon, egg, and cheese, but they give it a twist where they use paneer as the cheese and they use this flatbread that is similar to naan. It's flat, but it's like super flaky and it's so delicious. bodega because first of all like it smells good like it just they have incense going it's nice it's calm it's quiet it's sunny i think it's woman owned like i've only ever seen women working there no men they've got my business this is so good what mm. wow before I have to log on and work. So, <clears throat> good morning proper, now that I'm sitting down. I'm gonna have up. <laughs> I'm finally in a place to get more into vlogging and to get more into this YouTube stuff. I feel like my relationship with social media has been so, it's been so strife ridden really because as an artist and as a creative person in the digital age, we have been told and it has been shown that having a social presence is something that you have to do in order to get your work out there, in order to be seen, in order to have this or that. And because of that, my relationship with social media, I just stopped having fun with it. I stopped looking at it as a portal that connects me to people that I might not ever get to see in real life. And it got to a point where I wasn't even talking to the people on the other side of the room. I was just on the other side of the screen. I mean, I was just talking like I was just talking into the void. I was just talking at myself, talking at my own reflection. And that's boring. So I did have to take some time for myself you know, to play around on other platforms and also play around with no platforms and um, focus on my health, focus on my job. Um, in the last four months, I've started doing yoga. I've joined a yoga studio. I really enjoy that practice in my life. Um, I've gotten into crystals, y'all. Don't even get me started on that because I know y'all gonna be like, ooh, she woo woo. I got into it when I, on a trip I did to London with one of my with a group of my uh, childhood friends from high school. We all met up in London. One of us was getting married and we went to this crystal shop and I was like, you know what? Some of these are just positive intentions. And like, if I, if I wanna spend like two pounds to like get like a little crystal that reminds me to have a positive intention, like why not? So for me, the crystals, like I don't believe that they are magical in and of themselves, but I do believe in the magic of like intention setting and of kind of, having like an idea for yourself that you'd like to embody in your life, whether it's self-confidence, whether it's good health, whether it's like patience, whether it's peace, um, less sensitivity to criticism, whatever it is, and to project that intention onto an object that you can then wear and feel some sort of reminder or reinforcement of what you set out for yourself. I rock with that heavy. I rock with that so heavy. Um, so yeah, I've, I've gotten into crystals, I've gotten into yoga, my locks are locking, like it's um it's the dawn of a new era of Lo Harris. Um, and with that in mind, actually, I do want to flag, I'm going to change the name of this YouTube channel and I'm just going to change the direction. Like I felt like 
the way that I needed to show up on the internet was strictly as like from an educational perspective of trying to like empower the artists and get them to understand like the business and get them to understand this, that, and the third. And while that is an aspect of me that I really enjoy, I really love being a mentor. I really love helping people. I really love kind of putting people onto the game, especially people who look like me, because I'm a firm believer that if you have a mastery of media, you can have a lot of influence and you can do a lot and uh, change the world um, and change people's minds and hearts. Um, but with that in mind, I'm just a girl and I'm a girl who's on a mission to live a very harmonious life. Um, one where I am enjoying watching myself grow up, not just with myself, but with the loved ones around me and trying new hobbies, trying new things. I just turned 29. So this is like the final year of my twenties. And I think that I decided I want to start doing weekly vlogs as a challenge to document to really document what does the last year of my 20s look like? What is the energy I'm bringing? This is archival. My kids are gonna be looking back at this and being like, damn, my mom was fun. And um, I, I'm rock with that. I think that's exciting. And I think that it's like, you know, uh, a virtual journal in a way. I've also been getting into journaling and I've getting been getting into essay writing. And y'all, ain't nobody sponsoring this channel. So I'm going to have my own little commercials um, where I can sponsor my own stuff and, you know, just kind of share, like, here's some art I'm doing, you know, <laughs> like, here's this, here's that. Speaking of, it's first sponsorship, sponsored by me. Here we go. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Do you want a little bit more color in your life? You could get a print, not just any print. This print of an original artwork that I created called I've Got Me. This artwork is rooted in a message of trusting oneself, of trusting that you, through all that you go through, through all of the free falls you take in life, will always have the safety net of your trust in yourself. This is the perfect thing to look at when you want a boost of color and you want to remember that you've got you, that you can rely on yourself to take care of yourself, to be gentle with yourself, to have compassion for yourself. You can get this print and others at www.loharris.shop. Now that I've done this, enjoy the rest of the video. Anyway, this channel's name is going to be called Lowe's harmonious life. Why? I think about things like the simple life, right? And something about like calling my life simple irks me. It's like life isn't simple. Sometimes it's just so complicated. It's so complicated, but how do I create harmonious connections through all those complications and simplicities to create a life where I kind of follow the values, like the overarching values that I want for myself, be it peace, reflection, time with friends. I mean, nothing's perfect, but it can be harmonious, you know? And I can kind of find the harmonious moments even in the most tumultuous times in my life. Um, so that's why I chose Lowe's Harmonious Life. It's an exercise in gratitude. Um, and I'm just so blessed to be able to do that. Um, but anyway, this week, I'm going to be documenting my week this week um, and every week I'm going to kind of circle around an intention. The intention for this week is something that I've been grappling with all of my <laughs> teenage and adult life, which is why do you work so hard? I just, I'm, I tend to be a workhorse and I tend to get really, really intense when it comes to my professional life. And sometimes I think I know why I'm doing it, like money or like success. But then like, I really kind of start to back up and I'm like, oh, why do I do this? <laughs> like, I really don't know. Um, and so throughout the week, I just want to kind of circle back to that question of why do you work so hard? I am going back into work today in the next 20 minutes um, for the first time in a week. I took a week off. I'm still tired, but I feel much better than I was feeling <laughs> a week ago. So that's progress. And I did have some Sunday scaries because I was just like, man, I just do the most. And 
I don't have the resources to be doing the most. I just have to come to terms with that. So <laughs> this week is just going to be all about like as I readjust back into my working style, like how do I um, reel back a little bit and ensure that I am maintaining myself? Because if I'm over here burning myself out by Tuesday, they can't do nothing with me. I'm not I'm not of any hell. Anyway, I'm going to finish eating and then I'm going to get on this call. Girl, let's see. Let's see how many emails. Let me see how many emails. We're supposed to be running around in the forest. Not doing this. <laughs> Crazy. I forgot my work password. That's a good thing. <sighs> okay. <laughs> you know what I noticed like when I'm working is I tend to try to multitask like whenever I'm in meetings I'm always trying to like keep up or like read emails at the same time trying to maximize my time and my productivity and I realized like that's probably not a good thing I've spent so much of my time multitasking like too much of my time multitasking and it doesn't even make any sense because it's like my anxiety goes up, my heart rate goes up, like, and my heart literally is, like, jumping out of my chest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, what's our next meeting? Like, I'm, like, seven minutes. I'm going to spend the next seven minutes going to go make myself some tea. I'm going to have that meeting, and then I'm just going to dedicate today to going through all of the emails and working my way through this before I start making anything. beans you are so smart and you're kind and you have an amazing sense of humor you're so handsome who made you such a handsome guy you're just such a handsome guy there's no reason for you to be this handsome you're just the most handsome guy i know yeah and you have a great sense of humor i love you yeah i love you so i'm here with um my colleague potato the tabby cat to talk about why we work so hard and where all this workaholic stuff comes from i've always buried myself into my work and i recognize that that has been a protection mechanism for me for a very long time like just like being a black woman kind of wanting to make sure that I have avenues uh, for excellence and avenues for just like protecting myself personally, financially, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it's gone too far. It's gone too far. Like earlier this year, I started to notice some changes in my health just due to the nature of how it would work. And I mean, I was an all-nighter queen. I would be up all night and working and pulling just like all sorts of tricks on my body trying to keep the engine running and then stuff started to happen my gut started doing backflips and my eyes started to twitch from a lack of sleep and um oh what else happened to me oh my god the shoulder pain the back pain and so what came from that was like a journey into self-care um and really trying to make sure that i am able to potato look at me 
he's not being very participatory. <laughs> to work today um so tell me why i woke up and the first thing i was thinking about was "Ooh, i gotta do this for work why can't i wake up and think about what kind of tea i'm going to drink why is the first thing that i think about when i wake up is what's on the agenda today what i have to get done today sorry my cat found this cracker on the floor and he's trying to eat this cracker and i just don't want to let him have it he eats two square meals this is not a cracker for cats and now he's scratching my couch stop <laughs> what are your complaints nathan mm. lauren didn't um Twist the knob properly to seal the milk. So when I, when I went to shake the milk and pour my cereal, it spilled. Man, we should call 911. <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to head to work. I have my tea. I have my crystal. Today I'm wearing citron, which is supposed to be uh, very good for generating wealth. So hopefully a big bag of money falls from the sky and hits me in the face. Today was my first day back in the office, just after vacation. I totally cried. I don't really cry at work, but I totally, I totally broke. I was like, I'm crying now. And my supervisor was so sweet. My colleagues were so sweet. Um, I feel like in some ways I often get consumed like by my ambition career wise and the fact that I woke up today being like, here's what I got to do today. And then it all culminated to me being like, actually, I need to cry. <laughs> I need to cry. My boss is so sweet. He literally like set a whole bullet pointed list at the end of the day being like, you got this. If you need help, ask. Like, the, You know, just very sweet. Um, I work with very sweet people. Um and I'm very lucky because I've been in work situations where I was not working with very sweet people all the time. Um, but the sweet people um, who I did meet, and many of them I'm still in contact with today, it's like they make a world of a difference when you're trying to make it in this world, you know? Um, we spend so much time at work, generally, and it's so important for that space to include people who are incredibly 
supportive and community driven because without those people this work means nothing I don't remember all the projects I worked on I don't remember all of the deadlines I met I remember the people that I met Anyway, hopefully the rest of this week I will be a lot more, um, just a lot more grounded. I think it was good that I got to cry out. Honestly, I'm a big crybaby. Yeah. Is it weird to say that it was kind of a good day at work even though I cried? Because <laughs> it was. It was. I love people very much. Um, I'm going to drink some wine and watch movie <laughs> So yesterday, last night, I was like, I should probably take today off. Just like a quick sick day to, and a mental health day really, to just like realign. Thankfully, I work with amazing people and I was like, okay, let me take them up on the offer to take a breather for a second. So today I am going to be <clears throat> just like doing things to re realign myself and just like reboot for just a quick second. Um, I'm not really going to document too much for today, honestly, except for this um, video. Um, but I am committed to this process of exploring and documenting just a week and what that looks like. And I think that this documentation and this process that I'm gonna be undergoing through these vlogs over the next year are an opportunity to take a holistic look at my growth and my journey as I close out my 20s and what the next decade of prioritizing myself and building a harmonious life looks like. Like, I'm gonna be real with you. Not everything is gonna be harmonious. Like there's gonna be conflict and challenge and that's okay because that's kind of a part of the process. I've been asking myself this question, why do you work so hard? And sometimes the answer is money sometimes the answer is recognition and sometimes it's it's like <laughs> i just don't want to let people down i just don't want to let people down and that's real that's really really real um i just want to encourage you all to take a moment where you can i said it i think yesterday like we spent so much time at work we're not going to remember the projects. We're not going to remember the sales. We're not, none of that matters. Like what matters is when you zoom out, we are people who are in a very specific community with other people earning wages that allow us to live in other ways with other communities of people. And so because of that, it, you know, being a group of people working within that system, it's so important that the people you know, maintain their humanity as a collective. Um, and I can't expect my coworkers to maintain my humanity if I'm not maintaining my humanity by taking a break. I will be back tomorrow and I will probably be a lot more useful than I would have been going in today. <sighs> okay. I'm going to enjoy my day today. You've proven yourself. Now what? 
This is a sticky note that I wrote down yesterday. Um, actually behind me, welcome to my home. This is like my tree of affirmation. Like this is like the spiritual base of my home. And I just have like a bunch of positive affirmations that struck me um, that I want to remember and that I want to kind of embody and take into the day when I'm about to leave the house. Um, I also have all of my little crystals here. At some point, I'll give y'all a little crystal tour of all the crystals that I have. Um, my little incense. I have my a little singing bowl. I, I just really like how it sounds. It, it just sounds so peaceful. Like. Um, I wrote this sticky note down because this week, as I've meditated on my big thought for the week, which is why do you work so hard? I think that I have through uh, experience and through so a little bit of crying and like a little bit of hard conversations like at work, at home, I've realized that a big reason why I work so hard is because I feel like I need to prove myself. And I probably mentioned this like at some point earlier in the week in a vlog, but I just really want to double down on this because I feel like I've always felt um, some sort of um, pressure to prove myself. And so I had a conversation with my therapist yesterday about um, the feeling of needing to prove myself and needing to justify myself and show my work and how that impulse has created a toxic culture within myself to um, really push myself to the limit and work at 200% as often as I can. And what comes out of that is me literally getting sick I'm still running and burning my wheels. And I the problem is me. The problem is I have to set the boundaries and I have to honor my own boundaries because it's no one else's responsibility to honor my boundaries, but mine, but my, it's my responsibility. Of course, you know, people can disrespect that boundary, but I am the champion. I am the gladiator. I am the guardian of that boundary. And I might have to step on some toes when the people step on my toes and that's okay. I have proven myself already. I'm learning this and this is going to come up later i'm sure i'm not just gonna learn this in a week like it's a cartoon where you have a happy ending and a big lesson this is gonna come up again um but i'm so grateful for the week that i've had because it has shown me where i can step in and step up for myself i should not feel like i a need to be on the brink of death in order to feel justified in taking care of myself. No one should feel that way, whether they have proven themselves or not. Why do you work so hard? It's an old 